Read a book every day for small children. Hey awesome readers, let's read this story about Goddess Lakshmi. Indra was all set to be crowned as the king of the gods. At his crowning ceremony, all the gods and goddesses were present in complete splendor. Indra, to win the heart of Sri Devi, the goddess of fortune, you will have to protect Bhu Devi, the goddess of earth, said someone. I'll gladly do so, replied Indra. But soon after he was crowned as the king, Indra lost interest in being a ruler. He took to drinking wine and spent his time singing and dancing with the Apsaras in heaven. Indra has deserted us. There is no one to rule over earth and heaven, lamented the gods. The demons saw this as a great opportunity to loot earth. They stole wealth from people's houses and created havoc in their lives. Goddess Lakshmi saw what was happening and became very sad. I'll not be able to witness both earth and heaven going through such a turmoil. She thought to herself and dissolved herself into the ocean of milk. Without Lakshmi, the gods and demons were left in panic. How can we live without prosperity and wealth? cried one of the demons. We have to bring her back said one of the gods. Lord Vishnu knew that the gods and demons had learned their lesson. There is only one way to bring her back, he said. What is it? asked the gods. Churn the ocean of milk, replied Vishnu. Mandara, the king of mountains, became the spindle. Akupara, the king of turtles, became the base of the spindle. Vasuki, the king of serpents, was the churning rope. The gods and the demons began churning the ocean of milk. The churn twisted and turned, the ocean frothed and fumed, waves roared and spewed foam in every direction. After months of churning the ocean, Goddess Lakshmi was pleased by the efforts of gods and demons. She emerged from the ocean in all her splendor. O oh Goddess, we are blessed with your radiance! exclaimed the gods. Lakshmi was seated on a lotus dressed in red silk. The sacred elephants which hold up the sky came from the eight quarters of the universe and raised their trunks and shard her with life-sustaining water. Who is this ugly one who walks by the side of Lakshmi? asked a demon to the other. She's my sister, a Lakshmi, replied Lakshmi. While I will dwell, there is nobility, righteousness, virtue, and clean surroundings. My sister will dwell where there is envy, greed, lust, pride, and arrogance, she said. Lakshmi garlanded Lord Vishnu, who was present with a floral garland, and thus became his bride. Thus, Lord Vishnu is also known as Sri Natha the husband of Sri, the goddess of fortune. Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Vishnu returned to their abode Vaikuntha. Lakshmi and Virtue Once upon a time, a demon king called Pralada ruled the three worlds. He had made even Indra weak with his honesty and goodness. Oh, master, is there any way I can get heaven back from him? Indra asked Brashpati, the teacher of the gods. As long as he has virtue with him, you cannot win over him, replied Brashpati. Indra decided that the only way to trick Prahlad was to ask him something in arms. So he dressed up as a poor Brahmin. He knew that Pralada would never turn a Brahmin away without giving him what he desired. 
My Lord, I have come to you with a desire," said Indra in the guise of a Brahman to Pralad. "And what is that desire?" asked Pralad. "Please give me your virtue," said the Brahman. "Granted," said Pralad without thinking for a moment. The Brahman went away smiling. A few minutes later, Pralad felt a sharp pain in his body. He saw a form coming out of his body. It looked like a man. "Who are you?" asked Pralad. "I am what you, the one you just gifted," replied the form. Pralad looked in surprise as Virtue flew out of the palace. A little later he felt another pain. "Who is it this time?" he asked. "I am righteousness," replied the form. "Where there is no virtue, I have no place," said the form and flew out of the palace. Pralad knew that he had given the Brahman more than he had asked for. His silence was broken by another form. I am honesty," said the form. "Where there is no righteousness, I have no place," said the form and disappeared. Within seconds, another form came out of his body. "I am nobility. Where there is no virtue or righteousness, there can be no nobility," said the form and left the palace. Pralada was seated at the foot of his throne, a defeated man. He heard the footstep of a lady. This time, he looked up and saw a dazzling figure. "Who are you and why are you leaving me?" he asked. "I am Goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune and prosperity," replied the lady. "I cannot reside where there is no virtue, righteousness, nobility and honesty she replied pralad knew that the brahman was no ordinary one he would have known that the virtue was the most important quality to be asked for tell me who that brahman was he asked the goddess it was indra the king of the gods replied goddess lakshmi He knew what he had to take away from you to take all of us with him," said Goddess, and left the palace. Thus, fortune and prosperity lie in the place where there is honesty, nobility, virtue, and righteousness.